Aya, nyamaza. Honorable ministers present. Honorable members of parliament. LC5 chairpersons. The traditional leader of the Kumam. Kumam. Generals of the EPDF present. Members of the Central Committee of the MK Movement. Our coordinator for Teso Region, Honorable Peter Ogwang. The organizing committee for this baraza. All the people of Teso, I see you are very many, there are very many behind there. Yoga is Ayalama Abunere. President Mseven Oye. President Mseven Oye. Oye. MK Oye. Oye. MK Oye. 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 Thank you very much. For, for, let me, let me, uh, let me uh, recognize my big brother. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Honorable Musa Echeru, for coming. And all, 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 all the VIPs that have come. I thank you all for coming in large numbers. I, the sun was disturbing some of you earlier in the day, but now I can see there. Many people. You're okay. Very good. This is clear evidence that Teso loves us very much. And we love you too. I'm personally, personally glad to be back in Teso. After some time, as some of you may know, I was here in 2003 when the LRA invaded the region. I was sleeping in a tent at Surat Flying School for a number of months. The first time I came under enemy fire was at Achuna. Near corner. The president had sent me and my unit which was called the Motorized Infantry Battalion of PGB, PGB at that, this SFC was used to be called okay. PGB. To block Tabule, there used to be a commander of Konyu called Tabule. Who was disturbing Teso a lot. To block Tabule, who was moving from Otuboy to Amuria. So our mission was to block him at that road, that uh, artillery going to Orungo. And we set our ambush at Achuna. Okay, ambush Achuna 
the, there was fear that Tableau was going to attack the IDP camp in Orungo. We spent the whole night in ambush at Achuna. And in the morning we came into contact with part of Tabule's force at the primary school there. There's a primary school there. A primary school. Yes. The fire they got there convinced them not to continue to work. Another time, we fell into an ambush set by the same tabule at Katine. Soroti. Atiriri. There is a place called Katini. Am I right? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. We had spent we had spent the whole day shelling Tabule from, from Atiriri. And as we were returning at night to Soroti, he laid an ambush for us. We were able to discuss that ambush and the terrorist lost, lost some people there. Soon after, soon after that ambush, Tabule was killed. In Anyala. By one of our units. So nobody has to educate me about this. So I Today, we are here to thank God for the peace that all of Uganda is enjoying. The days of insurgency, of rebellions, for all the support they gave us during those difficult days. People used to sleep, I remember people used to sleep in, on the road there in, 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 in town. Because they were scared of Hillary. Of course, we still have the issue of the criminality of the Karachunas from Karamoja. The security officials have briefed me. And the raids of although they are there are reducing. In Katakui, Kapila Biong and Kumi. Since January of this year, 224 guns have been recovered from the country. Six, many, many Karachunas have been arrested. And many have been prosecuted. I have the figures here, but I, I don't have to mention them. Since we launched Operation Usalama Kawote in July of 2021, <laughs> A total of 1,104 guns have been recovered. 
the raids are reducing because of the pressure that the UPDF is putting on them. The removal of the Turkana herdsmen from Uganda, they have been, they were, you remember we were allowing Turkana to come and graze their cows in Karamoja. But now they have been uh, uh, sent back. When they would come, they would come with their guns and they would start using their guns inside Uganda. Uh, the they would even uh, hire out their guns to the Karamajo. But since they left, uh, this is why they, you are seeing reduction in rates. The president also gave the Karachunas amnesty. He gave them a brief amnesty. And they, and they are beginning to come out of the bush. In North Karamoja, in, in Kabong and Kotido, the Karachunas are beginning to come out and voluntarily hand over the On agriculture, I thank the, fa the farmers of Teso for eagerly taking up citrus fruit growing. You remember government introduced citrus farming as a replace as a replacement for cotton. Cotton. How do, you say, how do you say koto? Epaba. Epaamba. Epaamba. As a replacement, a replacement for Epaamba. Epaamba. It's the same word in Kiswahili. Even in Kiswahili, we say Epaamba. Muna elewa Kiswahili? Muna elewa? Muna elewa? Muna Kiswahili? Muna elewa? Muna elewa? Muna elewa? I'll, I'll translate a bit. Uh, whereas farmers were getting only 40,000 shillings per acre from cotton, they can get up to 12 million shillings per acre from oranges. So we thank you for taking up orange uh, growing oranges. They told me that now Teso has 8 million orange trees. Yeah. So thank you for listening to the government and doing and yeah. growing. And growing oranges. I know there have been some problems with the Soroti fruit uh, factory. These are mainly problems of management and some capacity. However, government is in talks with, with some private investors to see how to best restructure the operations of the factory. Government has also set aside money to invest uh, in, in this process of restructuring. Government has also set aside money to invest in this process of restructuring.
I want to thank our friends, uh, the government of South Korea, for partnering with us in the entire value chain of citrus. Farming. I urge, I urge them to keep it up. I urge the, uh, those friends to keep it up. I believe the problem is being faced by the citrus farmers. For, for example, fake pesticides. Fake pesticides on the market, expensive fertilizers, and low prices will soon be resolved. Like we have been telling all people wherever we meet them, we encourage all our farmers and all landowners. To avoid the practice of land fragmentation. Please stop this practice. Mwache Lazima lazima mkuwe na mafikirio mafikirio mazuri. Ariko to naona kwa penga na kwa kuna jeu kana na peta kama mission no eje oka. The youth the youth we, it cannot only be dancing and dancing no. We should also have some good ideas for the country. Kama mimi na ya say ala edo na sakaza kono ya kero. Sawa. If you continue breaking up, if you continue uh, with land fragmentation, you're going to make life hard for your own children and your grandchildren. One day you'll not be young. One day you'll not so, kiria, kiria eh, hali ya, ya watoto, watoto we. No serious agricultural production can take place on small pieces of land. You are disabling the land by fragmenting it. This is not only a crime against you, Future of the future generations, it's a crime against God also. It is better to keep the land together in family uh, family farms. You should have family farms. And then you, you form a, a company, a family company. 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 
Also, I believe that uh, Christayo, Sasa kama wa kristayo wazuri ama wa salamu wazuri Wana arara ilu yuto se jeoka Ara wana duri siri ya munda ya mule jeoka Lazma tusizae sana Tusizae sana Uzae watoto ambao naweza Mama uridu ilu ipu Uridu ilu ipu Uridu ilu ipu Uridu ilu ipu Muzai watoto ambao mnaweza, sindio? Kama huwezi, usizai. Aramji peruna edar, mami uri ee. Family planning, kwa kizungu nasema family planning. Ona ala ya niki na uri. Sindio? Ala ya niki na uri. Ala ya niki na uri. Family planning, apana. Yes. Moti 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 na rala polo ne? Okiza mtoto, iyo ni responsibility ya kwako. Forever. Na kama mnatoto watote enyu waishi vizuri, lazima muzai wenye mnaweza. Hariko toni kidwe Apollo ne joko laete hoshomete wa uri atiduelo e pedorio ae na riki dioko. Muna kubari iyo? Muna kubari? Muna kubari? Very good. Very good. Thank you very much all for coming. Thank you for your patience. You, you, you have been very patient.